Hi, I'm Steve Dadkowitz from Mori Microwave, and we're here at European Microwave in Milan, representing Mori Microwave, AMCAT Engineering, and Taverta Microwave in Vertigo. And today we're showing our state-of-the-art solutions in component, circuit, and system-level modeling, characterization, and simulation from low megahertz to over 1.1 terahertz. I'll walk you through some of the demonstrations that we're showing to give you a really good feeling of what our state-of-the-art solutions look like. The first system that we're showing over here is a vector receiver hybrid active load pull system. It uses the vector network analyzer both as a signal generator to create the signals that we're going to inject into the device under test, as well as a receiver to measure the performance of the A waves and B waves coming from the device under test. This type of solution is available in passive, active, and hybrid active systems from the low megahertz to over 67 gigahertz coaxial and 110 gigahertz in waveguide. It is the most accurate um, VNA-based load pull system on the market today. A very specific version of a vector receiver load pull system can be seen over here at the second demonstration. It is our MT2000 mixed signal load pull system. This is a turnkey custom designed vector receiver that includes six signal generators a vector analyzer and is capable of up to 1000 megahertz bandwidth up to 67 gigahertz. With this type of system you can do active fundamental and harmonic load pull and baseband load pull at all frequencies between low megahertz up to 67 gigahertz. It has one of the industry's lowest residual EVM and can do ACPR and EVM measurements on LTE, Wi-Fi, and 5G signals. Over here we have another embodiment of a vector receiver load pull system. It is a sub-terahertz active load pull system. The demo we're showing today is load pull measurements at 140 gigahertz. You see the same network analyzer acting as a vector receiver, but here we have a Vertigo Technologies VMU, vector modulator unit, that does IQ modulation, which actually changes the magnitude and phase of the signal that goes into the, the VDI millimeter wave extenders, waveguide extenders. By changing the magnitude and phase of those signals coming in, we're able to control the magnitude and phase of the signal being injected into the device under test. And using this methodology, we're able to do highly accurate load pull measurements actively up to over 1.1 terahertz. What we're showing here is a very popular 140 gigahertz D-band active load pull measurement, state of the art. Once we're done with our component characterization, it's time to develop your power amplifier. How do you choose the right power amplifier or the right transistor to use in your power amplifier circuit? For that, we're coming to IQ Star. IQ Star is an AMCAD solution that has been purpose designed for PA characterization with realistic drive signals, could be LTE, could be 5G, and DPD. So here we have a um, AMCAD IQ Master. It's a new product that uh, it's new on the market. It's a VST, a vector signal transceiver, and it creates a realistic modulated signal. Let's call it a 5G signal or an LTE signal, wide band. And it um, also acts as a DPD engine and we'll actually show you using uh, realistic DBD algorithms that you would find in an actual uh, radio unit or base station what the actual performance um, of that power amplifier will be. So it is a turnkey power amplifier test system that does S parameters, one tone, two tone, two tone video bandwidth, modulated measurements, and digital pre-distortion for applications like 5G base stations. Finally, once we have um, our circuits designed, our PAs designed, and mixers designed, we want to help our customers build their transmit-receive systems. And to do that, we have to do really good modeling and simulation. In the corner where my colleagues are doing a live demonstration, so we don't want to interrupt them, is AMCAD's Vision software platform. Vision allows you to create models based on measurements, based on simulations, of each of the individual components in a TX or RX chain. It allows you to chain them together into a system and do full system simulations, either inside the vision platform itself or to create a macro model and export it for use in popular simulation tools. 
So here today in Milan at European Microwave, we've shown circuit testing. We've shown component characterization, and we've shown system level um, modeling and simulation. Visit us at moremw.com or amcad-engineering.com for more information on these solutions. Thank you very much.